hello students today we will learn that how a jet engine works a jet engine is a device which is used to propel an aircraft in front direction when it is flying in air so how to identify a jet engine this is an aircraft a diagram of an ordinary aircraft so these are the wings of aircraft so below these wings these two drum type capsule type entities are what the jet engine of the aircraft so job of these jet engine is to propel the aircraft in front direction when it is flying in air now let's see what is the circuit diagram of a jet engine see it is composed of four basic components compressor then combustion chamber then turbine then nozzle all are in serial wise fashion as it is shown in the diagram now what is the job of compressor as the name is suggesting it takes in air from the atmosphere and raises the temperature and pressure of air this is an adiabatic action the compressor compresses the air with adiabatic process so it takes low pressure and low temperature air inside and raises the pressure and temperature both of air to high degrees okay now this high pressure and high temperature air is sent to the combustion chamber over there it is added with the fuel so when fuel is added to high pressure and high temperature air it catches fire and combustion takes place so by this way heat is added to air so we know this thing that when heat is added to air or any compressor fluid it raises the enthalpy content so enthalpy content of air rises up now what happens this burnt air gas burnt gases are then allowed to pass through a turbine the job of turbine is to convert the enthalpy of compressible fluid into work done so what happens in the turbine the enthalpy content of air decreases hot air decreases and work is developed now whatever work is developed in the turbine is supplied to the compressor itself to run it okay so what happens the enthalpy decreases in the turbine and the work developed is supplied to the compressor itself now when the hot air comes out from the turbine it is still having enthalpy that enthalpy means it is still having enthalpy as well as pressure because high enthalpy content means high pressure is there so when that air which is coming out of the turbine hot air is passed through a nozzle there is a nozzle at last so in the nozzle also the enthalpy decreases we know this thing that what happens in nozzle enthalpy decreases and kinetic energy increases so the velocity of air increases over the exit of nozzle so when high velocity air will come out from this nozzle then we know this thing that there for an action there is an equal and opposite reaction always this is newton's third law of motion so same as Uh, the when air will come out with high velocity from the nozzle then due to action reaction principle it is uh, given a thrust a nozzle over the nozzle a thrust is developed which propels this entire system that is the jet engine so thrust is developed by this way so once again what is done air goes inside the compressor high uh, compressor raises the pressure and temperature of air it is sent to the combustion chamber over where fuel is added so combustion takes place so it increases the enthalpy content of air because heat is added to air now some enthalpy content is uh, converted into work done in the turbine so whatever work done developed in the turbine is sent to the compressor for running it now rest of the enthalpy changes in the nozzle so when enthalpy decreases in nozzle the velocity of air increases and when high velocity air comes out then by action reaction principle same as suppose there is a balloon and inflated balloon is there and it is open it's uh, the end from where air is inserted that end is open what happens air comes out and balloon goes in the uh, reverse direction so same thing when high velocity air will come out from this nozzle it will give a thrust to this entire system so this is how thrust is developed now let's understand that how practically a jet engine works so in this picture you can see that there is a small table fan now let's make it on now what is happening that energy is provided to the blades of this table fan and that energy is turn is in turn provided to the air so what is happening air is coming from the behind of this table fan and moving out of the screen it is like this so uh, the air moves in the direction parallel to the axis of this fan now make this fan off now by the help of a blower make the air high velocity air to flow over the blades of this fan now what is happening 
एयर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द ब्लोअर इज विथ हाई कनेटिक एनर्जी सो वेन इट इज स्ट्राइकिंग द ब्लेड्स ऑफ दिस फैन सो द कनेटिक एनर्जी इज इम्पॉर्टेड टू द ब्लेड सो इन टर्न इट इज रोटेटिंग द रोटर ऑफ दिस फैन ओके सो वंस अगेन समराइज वट इज हैपनिंग दैट वैन वी आर मेकिंग ऑन दिस फैन देन एक्चुअली एनर्जी इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द ब्लेड्स टू एयर एंड वैन हाई वेलोसिटी एयर इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द ब्लेड्स देन वॉट हैपन्स द कनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एयर टर्न्स इन टू रोटेशनल कनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द रोटर सो रिवर्स प्रोसेस हैपन्स लाइक दिस नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड जेट इंजिन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कट सेक्शन मॉडल ऑफ जेट इंजिन दिस इज नॉट रियल जेट इंजिन बट इज अ कट सेक्शन मॉडल इट इज कंटेनिंग द फ्रंटल पार्ट दीज आर द कंप्रेशर स्टेजेस दिस इज द कंबशन चैम्बर कंटेनिंग फ्यूल इंजेक्टर्स एंड दिस इज द टर्बाइन एंड अल्टीमेटली देर इज अ नोजल नाउ हाउ इट वर्क एयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिच इज द इनलेट ऑफ दिस कंप्रेशर नाउ इन दिस कंप्रेशर पुस द एयर फ्रॉम दिस इनलेट एंड अल्टीमेटली पुशेज इट टू गो इन साइड द कंबशन चैम्बर वर्क इज सेम एज लाइक दैट ऑफ विद दैट टेबल फैन एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट वैन एनर्जी इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द टेबल फैन इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी नाउ इट रोटेट्स द रोटर और द फैन ऑफ टेबल फैन एंड इट पुस द एयर फ्रॉम द बैक एंड फोर्सेज इट टू go in front similarly it pulls the air from this when it rotates in corresponding direction it pulls the air from this inlet and forces it to go to this combustion chamber so by this compressor the air is taken with low pressure and temperature and reaches the combustion chamber with high pressure and high temperature so fuel is injected by the help of fuel inj injector nozzle so by this combustion takes place and enthalpy of air rises now when this high enthalpy air passes through this turbine blades then it develops work over the turbine same as that when uh, in the experiment the air by the help of blower was blown to the rotor of the table fan then it starts rotating automatically same thing when the air will pass through this blading of the turbine the turbine will start rotating and develop work done now you can see that shaft of this turbine is connected to the shaft of the compressor itself so whatever work is developed by the turbine is supplied to this compressor for its working now further when air comes out from the turbine it expands in the nozzle so we know that what happens in nozzle that uh, expansion takes place compressor uh, compressible fluid expands and velocity increases so when it exits from this uh, rear most part with high velocity then by action reaction principle this entire machine is subjected to a thrust in opposite direction let's see the entire video air goes inside to this inlet part of the compressor passes through the compressor stages reaches the combustion chamber fuel is added combustion takes place high enthalpy is developed then passes through the turbine and ultimately passes through the nozzle and exits so it develops thrust over this entire machine furthermore the compressor rotor rotates in corresponding direction like this once again reaching the combustion chamber high enthalpy is developed passing through the turbine blades you can see shaft is common ultimately after the turbine passing through the nozzle and when exits from the nozzle when high velocity air exits from the nozzle it develops a thrust over this entire machine so hope you would have understood practically that how a jet engine works thank you